Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to Dead Cells. We are uh, continuing in Update 5, whose name... I don't know what its official name is yet. It's in the Beta Alpha branch, whatever you want to call it. And things are... interesting. I mean, uh, we did... what was it? It was a tactics build last time, so now we're given a never... We're going to do a never brutal run, I think, mostly because I kind of want to... I want to get a feel for the whole, like, well, the mutations. I want to do a run to try to get a feel for the general pros and cons of each mutation. I I've done a couple of off-camera runs, and something that, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like ranged weapons have been nerfed in this particular run. But maybe I'm just crazy. But on the other hand, maybe they actually do do less damage now. I mean, most, most of my evidence is based on our last run where that, like, double damage, uh, explosive crossbow was, like, really, like, doing nothing. Like, I don't necessarily, I didn't necessarily expect to be one-shotting everything, but I felt like, given the stats I had, I figured it would be fairly reasonable to say that I should probably, especially with an item that has a double damage modifier on it, that I should probably be coming pretty close to one-shotting everything. And that wasn't happening. So we'll, we'll do some more experimentation. I mean, this isn't going to be a run where we're really going to be playing with our our uh, range stuff, so we'll see. I really thought I'd be able to jump over that, but alas, I was mistaken. Anyway, so yeah, plus also several of the, or several, the modifiers, the mutations for brutality are generally pretty good anyway, so I want to get a feel for them. And I think we'll We'll try to speed things up. This is not going to be any world record setting speedrun, of course. I don't do those, mostly because I don't take the time to learn them or anything. And by that I mean learn how to, like, really maximize our efficiency. And we're probably going to be taking the, the Yog Heart for the next couple of runs, mostly just because I want... I want, uh, the achievement for, like, having that heart and then, like, not actually using it for the duration of a run. Mostly just because it's an achievement, it's there. I can get a pretty little thing that says like 40 out of 40 achievements or however many achievements are. Is it 47? Whatever it is, you know, I like I like having a full achievements list going in my favor, so that's basically my motivations there. Now besides that, I mean, we do have a pretty, pretty good thing going here. I'm actually pretty lucky to have not jumped into the spikes. Then I fell into the spikes. I'm kind of go back and forth with these things sometimes. Sometimes, stupid phaser man, making me not kill that dragonfly thing. Don't know why I didn't wall jump there. It's not, not ingrained into my brain to do that yet. That's what I'm gonna say as my excuse. So, yeah. I mean, I suppose another thing we're gonna wanna play around with, as I may or may not have said last time as well, is. With the way things have been changed, it seems like it's actually really, really important to actually have more health now. Seeing as, uh, particularly the final boss, can completely wreck you if you don't have sufficient health. But then again, we'll, we'll have to experiment with that, like we do whenever things change. I mean, that's, that is the greatest benefit and also probably like the worst thing about, uh, playing an early access game is that it's going to change a lot. Also, there is... There we go. That's the good stuff. And what do we want? I mean, we'll probably... If we have to focus on one or the other, we'll probably go with tactics because that whole mutation for reducing cooldown of skill items is actually... Like, that's one I can see myself picking, like, pretty much literally every single... every single run. I mean... It also occurs to me the Yog Heart is something that a, a lesser, a lesser skilled player that was not me would probably pick every single time, and I totally won't find myself. Also, it's a cursed sword. It's so tempting. I could so take it, but not today. We'll we'll do one challenge at a time. Thank you very much. Anyway, also you know no, not to dismiss anyone who does in fact choose to actually use the Yog Heart every single time. I mean, if you're like me, you don't like losing, and I can totally understand why you'd want to 
why you'd want to have that there. Just as a backup in your pocket. And you don't need to replace your your amulet for it anymore. So there is some good benefits there. Anyway, it is what it is. Let's uh, have a sip of our delicious hot chocolate here. Ah, that's some good stuff. Anyway, so what else do we got going on here on this fine, fine December evening? Got some snow. That was cool. Love snow. I mean, when I arrived in my new place, there was snow on the ground, but then it was like slowly melting away, and now we've got like a whole nice new layer. It's great stuff. Unfortunately, it's not, uh, it's not like nice packing snow. It's like really hard icy snow, so it's not fun to play in, is what I'm saying. Not that I'm playing in snow at my age, but then again, I'm not not playing in snow, so yeah, make of that what you will. Do I really want to fight this elite guy? I mean, I think the answer is pretty obviously yes, because, you know, we have to prove our, our manliness by punching these things. Somehow not taking damage. There we go. Plus, I mean, you can't. how can you say no to an amulet? It helps uh, protect you from harm. And since we are going to try to speed things up a little bit compared to usual, I am going to actually make the rare and unexpected maneuver of skipping the prison depths. Though, I mean, in, in some ways, and by some I mean like many ways, it's actually probably safer doing that, and there doesn't appear to actually be any secrets there, but, you know, I figured worth checking out. No secrets here either. I mean, we saw there were no secrets on the way up, so we knew that much, but it was worth checking. Now, I figure another mutation, like as we're kind of reaching the end here and I'm going to be picking more mutations, I think one that I'm always going to pick like as we go forward is probably the one that doubles the length of time the speed modifier lasts because that sounds like something that would be really useful for reducing you know the time it takes to complete a run not that we're in any rush or anything but it seems like a generally pretty good thing like look at that speed bonus I mean the time taken to recover health is also pretty good I would imagine I'm trying to think to myself still, like, what would be good, what would make for good, good, uh, mutations for survival? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. But, uh, I mean, survival's definitely, like, getting the short end of the stick right now. Like, uh, I mean, I guess maybe just, uh, a mutation that increases the rally effect. I mean, like, survival, I think, already does that, but... You know, it seems to me. Or wait, is there a mutation that already does that? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Which is kind of silly. I think there isn't. So yeah, something that like supersized the rally effect based on your based on your uh, survival skill. That feels to me like a good call. Because then we could go back to the olden days where if you're doing enough damage, like literally, literally one critical hit could basically fill you up from zero health back to full health with the uh, rally effect. Also, yeah, I mean, you see how little damage that blood knife is doing on its own? Like the blood effect is alright, but I'm sure back in the day, those throwing knives would have actually done more. And by more, I specifically mean they would... Like, you would actually see a chunk get torn out of the enemy's health bar there instead of just, like, not a chunk. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Could just be me. I mean, the electric whip is a, counts as a ranged item. And that actually still is, like, a really, really good item. So, I don't like you very much, Mr. Armadillo Man. But, you know what? We're just going to cut our losses and keep moving. And we're totally not going to skip that, because why would I skip my money? kill him just to make sure that that aforementioned speed modifier keeps up. Though I guess, at the same time, speed is probably not the most important thing to me on this particular on this particular run until I get my my regular recording computer back, seeing as I have noticed sometimes when I have that speed modifier, I actually go faster than the computer or my laptop can handle, which is kind of funny. I mean, in general, that seems to be a not uncommon occurrence, but still, that might have been useful. And also, random 
and by random, I mean like totally related to me just like shelling out and destroying that thing there. It's been pointed out to me in the comments that I do have this tendency to like destroy really good valuable items for no reason. And I'll, I'll be entirely honest, I don't know what to say about that. Sometimes I actually do notice the modifiers that are on the items that I'm just recycling for no reason. And by for no reason, I mean because I've apparently decided I don't want them. And I don't know why I do it. I'm just crazy, I guess. I mean, that's really the only explanation I can come up with that makes any level of sense. I mean, I could probably come up with covers. Oh dear. Not good. Can't even stun anyone. But then again, the mace is not known for its superior stunning abilities. Also, I don't know if it's just me. Maybe, like, we'll have to keep an eye on this. But I'm not sure if, like, the extra damage I'm getting from my mutations is really... Okay, I don't know what happened there. He wasn't even facing me when he did that swing. But I'm not sure if the extra damage is, like, really making that much of a difference. You know? I mean, on the one hand, I guess I can't expect them to, like, completely change things and make me, like, super ridiculously overpowered, but I'm not sure if they're doing enough in their current iteration. Enough to change things. But, again, that's one of those things where we're gonna have to play with it a couple of times in order to get a real feel for these. So, yeah. But there are definitely some mutations that are more equal than others, is what I'm getting at here. And, like, the generic ones, for the most part, those are, like, all amazingly good. Alright. And then again, I mean, here I was, it's like, oh, this isn't doing that much extra damage, it's not that great. But then, you know, here we are, and we do seem to be pretty handily crushing our enemies beneath our boots, so... Yeah, maybe I was judging a bit too quickly. We'll see. We'll see, as tends to happen. Alright. Also, you know what's another thing I'm gonna have to do, now that I think about it? I've been meaning to go see the Justice League movie. Heard it got some mixed reviews, but I mean, and also I hated Batman v Superman. Liked Wonder Woman. Apparently, Justice League is more Wonder Woman than uh, Batman v Superman, which is frankly a good thing. So, I look forward to, uh, you know, giving it a feel and uh, seeing if it meets my own personal seal of approval. No spoilers, please, by the way. I don't know when I'm actually going to get out to see it. I mean, generally speaking, my strategy for movies is to wait until... Wait until the movie's been in theaters for, like, basically as long as possible before they pull it out and then go see it. That way I can pretend I'm a big shot by sitting in an empty theater. Yeah. And that's everything you need to know about Gaming by Gaslight and his... I don't know, inferiority complex or whatever. Something like that. Also, this was definitely a good upgrade. There we go. We're killing our foes. You know, seeing them driven before us and hearing the lamentations of their women. Truly, truly good days, happy days, and so on and so forth. And what is this? Standard turret, huh? I, I think I've heard about that, but... I don't really feel like using it right now, and it's a cursed chest. Cursed chests are always fun. I will open every single cursed chest I get. As long as they give skill upgrades, I will always open a cursed chest, unless I, like, have real reason to believe that I won't be able to... Yeah, like, look at this. We're sending in. Hang on a second. Is this the, uh... Is this the throwing dagger that I had at the beginning of the game? Maybe, maybe that's where the problem's coming from here. Oh dear. I was actually pretty, pretty much convinced to myself that I was going to die there, but somehow we didn't, so that's good. Hmm. You know, maybe that's, that's where I've been misjudging the ranged weapons. Maybe I just haven't been keeping them level, level appropriate. Nicely done. Also, there's money up there, but I'm totally not going to go for it because we've got bigger fish to fry. Though, since we've missed the time door for the incomplete one, I think I'm just not going to worry about it at this point. That's basically how things go, is if if I've already lost out anyway, don't worry about it. It's also kind of funny to me that I've been fighting the incomplete one a lot more lately. And yeah, we'll go up here. Might as well fill out the map. I mean, as I've probably said before, and I'm probably going to say like a million more times, one... 
one single uh, stat upgrade is not going to be the difference between the life and death. They're just not... It's not that big a difference. So, you know, it's there. It's good. But I suppose I shouldn't... I shouldn't... Oh, wait. There's actually one that we can use to get our main stat up higher. So, eh, it's, it's good. I guess. I mean, I do like seeing big numbers, so, you know, as long as we can keep those numbers nice and uh, fine and full and fat, then we're probably doing a good thing, and that's, uh, that's a good thing as well. Also, speaking of movies, The Last Jedi is coming out soon, isn't it? I forget exactly when, but it's like a week or so, maybe? Looking forward to that, too. Hopefully it's good. I mean, one can always hope with movies that they'll be good. But, uh, yeah. I mean... To be honest, I don't think I'd even be that upset if it was literally just basically like a shot-for-shot -shot retelling of Empire. But uh, I kind of hope it moves a bit more towards like telling its own original unique story instead of... Oh, I didn't even have that mutation at all. Also, we're going to be badasses and like not upgrade our... Or not refill our potions because we shouldn't need them because we're good players. Probably. At least that's what I tell myself. Anyway, so, yeah, good movies, look forward to them, basically is uh, the takeaway of that little bit. I do enjoy good movies from time to time. I mean, if nothing else, it's just, you know, when you're not doing anything else and then, you know, a, a day, Saturday night comes along and you're like, you know what, I want to get out of the house and I'm not really the bar scene kind of guy, so what should I do? I'll go see a comic book movie or, a, you know, a, a sci-fi film. Something like that, or, you know, whatever good happens to be playing, I guess, is the better takeaway from that. Good stuff. I'll be honest, though, these, these throwing daggers are really not impressing me. Not... okay, there we go. Wow, I'm actually... Man, this feels like the old days when, uh, the incomplete one had more health. He's a bit more spongy than I remember. I mean, I've got nine, uh, nine brutality here. I would have figured I'd be able to do a little bit better. I mean, you know, he has a lot of health, is what I'm saying. But it all worked out at the end of the day, so it's good. All right. So yeah, totally missed that. But how much do we miss it by? Okay, so it, it is still like 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Gotcha. There's nothing that we want to unlock right now. We do have... What do we have right now? We have... The the crusher, some other item that I can't remember what it is, and we also have like what I have been told is the best shield in the game. Though, if I'm being honest, that one's a... It's not high on my list of priorities right now to unlock it. Though, I suppose I should. You know, just for the sake of completion. But, uh... I mean, it, it's just another shield, is what my brain keeps telling me. Even though we've established that since the Brutal update, shields are generally pretty good. Also, damage... Yeah. I'm gonna replace that, so... Combined, we have minus 30 damage taken with our items, so that's pretty good. I mean, if we can get even better in terms of damage reduction, that's also pretty good. Or just more health, that also works, so, you know, do what you need to do. And, I mean, overall, this whole system is actually working out pretty nicely for us. Hmm. I kind of want to stick with this theme of using, using a, a burning mace. I don't know why, I just like it. We're going like full Paladin here, perhaps. It also occurs to me, yeah, I'm gonna smack some of these guys just a little bit, just to, you know, trim off a little bit of their health, just to make it a little bit easier uh, later to kill these guys. Because, you know, in general, we want to, to kill our foes. Also, oh dear. Oh, good job. Okay, so that is, that's the thing. I don't know why I didn't ground pound there. That would have actually been really some. Oh, good job, Gaslight. Oh, good job. All right, let's, uh... Maybe I should have just woke up the temple. 
because it looks like, uh, I, I always hate it when this happens, when the cursed chest spawns somewhere that you can't get until you've awoken the temple or the sanctuary rather. You know something I never paid attention to? Does the name of the level actually change when you wake it up? I'm gonna assume the answer is no, but that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I think so. I don't know why I felt the need to kill him. I mean, I guess, I guess what I'm, I guess the logic I'm operating under right now is let's try to, try to get rid of some of the more uh, dangerous enemies in order to make our lives a bit easier when the time comes. All right, here we go. We've got the, everything is awake again. There we go, ground pound that. And um, we've got a lot of enemies. And the big thing is we should probably do a, at the very least, like a very brief tour of the level and figure out where, oh, sweet baby Jesus. Figure out where all of the, the golems are so we can kill them. Because those golems suck. I'm just gonna be honest with you. They suck, they're awful, and they are coarse and rough, and they get everywhere. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm I, I'm not done with you yet. Okay, thank you. Okay, good job. And, alright, he's gone. He's He is dead. He is an ex-golem. He has ceased to be. And life is good once again. We have recovered our... Our... Oh dear. That just keeps going, doesn't it? We've recovered our innocence. Which is probably the most important thing to recover in this, in this, you know, dark and cruel world that we sometimes find ourselves living in. There we go. And also upgrading our stats, it's another important thing to do. And killing that elite enemy over there who's like hiding in the rune thing. Alright. Yeah. It weirds me out that host zombies spawn here. Like, you figure that's an artifact that, like, host zombies were supposed to show up in this level, but then there's, like, changed at the last minute, but they weren't removed from the spawn table of, like, elite enemies that can show up in those little, like, temple -y things. It's weird to me, man. Oh, dear. Don't do it. Okay. Alright, well, he killed himself. You all saw it. Now, where, oh, where is that cursed chest? I feel like I'm ultimately going to find myself ending up in a situation where I, I I finally open the cursed chest, but then like a golem spawns right next to me, summons me next to it, and instantly kills me. I mean, they've got some cheap tactics, those golems, and I don't like them. I don't like them very much whatsoever. Alright, lightning bolt. True unlimited power. Which is exactly what we want at this point in our life. And we also want to... Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh ho ho, you fought, you had me. But then I did that, and then I did some of that, and you were dead. Alright. I like it when there's a happy ending. I mean, don't all stories deserve a happy ending at the end of the day? I think so. Especially when I'm the hero of them. I mean, then again, I imagine most people think that. I mean, who who literally goes into a story, especially their own story, and thinks, Golly gee, I hope I... I am not the hero of my own story and that I fail miserably. You know? Like, that would be kind of... Be kind of a weird outlook to have on life. I mean, then again, unless you, like, view yourself as, like, a professional, like, secondary character or professional villain or whatever, who's ultimately supposed to be defeated by the hero, that would be kind of weird to have that kind of perspective in your own story, man. Like, why, why would anyone do that? I don't know. But there's probably some people who think that. They can't even be the hero of their own story. They're too passive. Don't be that person, man. Reach for the stars and so on and so forth. You know. It's what you gotta do, man. It's what you gotta do. I'm not exactly sure what prompted that, I just felt like... I felt like bringing that up. Though that would make for an interesting character. Oh dear. And... Alright, I'll be honest with you, I was like 115% sure I was gonna screw that up somehow. But I didn't, so it was good. And let's just go to the clock tower. Let, let's do that. That seems right to me. I mean, we could kill some more enemies. We could pick up some more cells. We could have a lot of, we could do a lot of things. But at this point, I think we've done enough. Let's just get out of here and move on to the clock tower. I actually really like this. Like, we can change 
our perspective on things in this update. We've got the Clock Tower, we've got the Slumbering Sanctuary, and I, they're like really awesome levels. I'm probably gonna be tired of them in a month or so, and they'll be like, ah, I wish we had more levels. And then, you know, we might actually end up getting more levels by then. I mean, we might not, I don't exactly know, since, you know, I'm not a developer or someone with inside information on what's going on with development, so I couldn't really tell you, you know, when we might see more levels, but I look forward to them. All right. That's some good stuff right there. Incidentally, also, and by incidentally, I mean, like, on an entirely unrelated matter altogether, I'm, I'm thinking to myself what's gonna be funny is I'm hoping my computer arrives this week. I said that last week, I said that the week before, but I've got an even better feeling now, and sooner or later that feeling will turn out to be right. But uh, more importantly, what I'm getting at here is I think what's gonna be funny is I'm, I'm thinking I might like be going to go visit some relatives, because one of the benefits of my moves is that I'm actually closer to some family members I haven't seen in a while, and by in a while I mean for at least a, at least a year or so. So, I might go visiting as the Christmas season gets closer to us, so that'll be good. But it'll be kind of funny. So, I do hope my computer arrives sooner rather than later so that I can, you know, pre-record some videos if I end up going away yet again. So, that'll be that. And frankly, after that, I guess I'll probably end up not having too much more time to do any traveling, so I'll have to be buckling down, getting back to you know, a day job and everything. Which I have not had to worry about too, too much for the last little while. You know, what with the move and all, but getting back into the swing of things is gonna be rather important. And by the swing of things, I mean, you know, working to make those dollars that cause the world to go round and stuff. Which, it's kind of funny. Like, I'm gonna get into like a random, probably like, semi-anarchistic, uh, maybe, political view here. But does anyone else kind of sometimes think yourself how, like, weird it is that, um, like, our lives are, like, so wrapped up in money? Like, in a, like, how, like, in a sense, it's, like, such an arbitrary thing. I mean, it's not really when you, like, actually have an understanding of, like, how economies work and whatnot, but... On a simple level, you like think to yourself, it's like, geez, like everything, like a lot of the problems in the world exist because of like, you know, the way wealth and stuff works. And like we've built up the system over like millennia and we haven't like figured out a better way to like exchange value and stuff so that like everyone has enough to go around when like, you know, theoretically, supposedly there could be, but yeah, anyway. That's a complicated issue, man, and that's way beyond the scope of this channel, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. And we're gonna we're gonna have to figure out the story with these these delightful Oh dear, with these delightful bells. But I think that'll probably be a next episode problem. Because if I'm being honest, I'm I'm kind of thinking to myself that uh, I want my regular computer here for that, just because the performance is better. I mean, better performance is good for a lot of things. Listen here, samurai dude. Don't don't throw me into your pits of despair. Alright. That's much better. Anyway, so moving on to the important things. We're off to meet the assassin. Though I kinda wondered to myself, and by kinda wondering to myself, I'm kind of like <laughs> the assassin's like a new boss and I haven't even like mastered this one. I mean, you could even argue I haven't mossed, mastered, mastered some of the ever-existing bosses, but I look forward to more bosses. Like, I like bosses, I guess is what I'm saying. I want to see more bosses. I mean, obviously, there's only so much development time to go around with these things, but uh, I, for one, have to say that if I had my way and whatnot, there would be... A different boss for every level. But that would probably be a little, uh, a little unnecessary there. A little bit too over the top, possibly. Alright, let's keep increasing our damage. Because again, I care more about doing more damage than about... Yeah. Hmm. 
You know, I kind of wish these bells actually did have like a graphical number on them. Like I thought they did at first, because that looks like a one, but all the bells have that one symbol on them as it turns out. Oh, cursed sword, cursed sword. I could totally go for that cursed sword. But then I would die because I'm not good enough to beat the assassin without taking damage. I know this. Of course, then again, if I had ice grenades, uh, frost blast, or maybe like a shield or something, and I was like really, really good at the parry timing, because the assassin seems like a boss that's like built for parrying. So it occurs to me, you know, maybe I should work on that a little bit. Because you never know. And by you never know, I mean like you totally know. And is this it? This is the end of, it is the end of the level. Huh. I was like, you know, I was also totally expecting there to be uh, a shortcut up there. So we could like quick travel back, but apparently not. Maybe I shouldn't be killing these guys yet. It might be a good idea to save the easy guys. Like I'm, I'm gonna save most of the archers because archers are easy to kill. And my logic is that if I leave them until I open the curse chest, then we can just backtrack and get all the archers and life will be, life will be very good indeed. Oh yeah, look at that. We are doing incredible damage to our enemies here, and I like it. There's a good, a good feeling when you can cripple your enemy before he even knows that you're crippling him. Oh dear. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that's why I like to see it right there. All right, where is that curse chest? I actually think once we find the curse chest, we're gonna move on. And yeah, we'll save the mystery of the bells for another run because that'll be pretty cool. We will play Carol of the Bells while solving the mystery of the bells. And it'll be awesome because it'll be Christmas time and stuff. And very, very thematically appropriate. Very thematically appropriate at all, indeed. All right, and let's uh, let's see here. Well, yeah, again, the tactics. The tactics is very important. Gotta gotta get those cooldown times as low as possible. And also, we're we're on track for the whole like Yog Heart achievement thing, which is cool. I like it. Oh, also, you know what? Here's a funny thing that I like just just recently realized um, that its name, it's like the Yog Aura Mulgar Ogle something. I, I think, is that it? I'm gonna have to look at its name. I think, like, basically it's an acronym YOLO. I think, if I am, if I am remembering correctly, which I may or may not be. Also, the heart cannot save us while we're cursed. Unless that changed, but I don't know why it would. I mean, we're dead. We're dead, oh no. I can normally pass those without taking damage, but you just know now that I'm actually cursed that I'm totally gonna end up taking damage on that, so. Let's be cautious and careful and, oh, I'm gonna die here. I can feel my death coming. Like, I, you, can, you can feel it, can't you? There's been an awakening of death. And yet, somehow I'm not dead yet. Wait, that's it? I thought for sure there were more enemies in this part of the tower. Did I really kill them all? Apparently the answer to that question is yes. And also no. Yes and no. All right. There we go. And, oh, I don't trust those spikes. It's never one of those situations. Normally, normally I would totally be able to handle that. But uh, this time... Yeah, so let's let's just circle around and we'll go somewhere else. Just because I really I really don't trust myself. Alright, that actually kinda worked out. And then I kinda chickened out there, which, you know, that's always a classy style. Alright, he's down, good. And we just need to smack him, not get smacked by that. Unfortunately we can do like a wall climb up here. Oh, I love wall climbing. It lets us, it is indeed a pathway to many abilities that some would consider unnatural, but uh, we got this. Uh, oh, and there's the curse. All right, so let's just get the heck out of here. I mean, I don't know what that flash was about, but we don't need to do anything else. We're good. Let's get out of here. Q duel of the faiths, the faiths, the fates, and we are ready to go. 
Really? You don't you don't have anything else for me? Alright. Huh. I thought for sure I got four mutations. Or do I have to go through the prisoner cells in order to get that? Probably. That makes a certain amount of sense. Alrighty then. And here we go. Fun times, everyone. Fun times. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Alright. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of lag there. Oh! Oh, come on! Well, there goes my... There goes my... You've ruined my dream, assassin. You have ruined my dream of not taking damage from you and, like, actually being good at the game and... Oh well. That's a challenge for another day. So, you know, when, when the time comes, we'll worry about it. Yeah, let's finish this, you crazy lady, who I just noticed is actually exposing your midriff. Yeah, you thought I didn't notice, you crazy assassin. But what's the story here, I wonder to myself. And also, I'm gonna have to like go, oh god. Oh, I'm so dead. Haha, <laughs> you missed, you suck. Oh god, you don't suck. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't take it personally, I'm just trying to psych myself up here so I feel good. For once in my life, you don't need to take away my dreams. Don't do it. Thanks a lot, you jerk. Alright. But you are almost dead, so if I just uh, do a little bit of this and then a little bit of that, and down you go. Alright. So... That just about does it for that, I guess. But yeah, the assassin. Cause I'm just thinking here, like, as far as, like, lore stuff, if I'm misremembering, but if I'm not, um, down in the sepulcher, the crazy spider lady says something about a uh, her. Is the assassin the her, and is there a, a closer story here between our guy and the assassin? Who knows? What I do know is it's the end of the episode, so until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.